Okay, so now we've imported the models, we've marked the teeth, and we're going to continue by clicking on the Continue to Teeth Segmentation. The software automatically detects the separation between the teeth and the gingiva and is going to give us a proposal on the screen. Okay, so this is the proposal the software has given us. We could see here a few interesting things. You could see a significant improvement from the previous versions in terms of automatic tooth segmentation. And we can also see that if we zoom in between the different teeth, we now have a uniform single line instead of two different curves, which prevents all sorts of complications. If you right click on one of the nodes, you have different options to remove link. So for example, if we wanted to fine tune the placement here, we could right click and choose remove link. We also have options um, to relink, or we could drag the two dots together and they link back together. So this is all new functionalities. Now if we look at the new, if we look at the tooth proposal, and we could find situations that might need to be fine-tuned. So just like always, you could left click, grab and drag any of the nodes, or you could hold down the shift key and just draw where the curve should be, and the curve will update automatically. So we could go around the teeth reviewing the segmentation. And once we finished with the maxilla, we could click on mandible and take a look at the segmentation that we have here. And here we could see there's a problem. We could go ahead and zoom in. Now in situations like this, sometimes the software gets it wrong. Uh, let's undo, we have an undo button in the top left. The first mistake that I made is you need to left click on the relevant tooth. You can left click on the relevant tooth either on the screen in the 3D view or on the diagram. And let's go ahead and draw where we want it to be. Yeah, and sometimes the software gets it wrong. The, dealing with this is very quick and easy. Let's just undo it. And if we drag a few dots down to help the software out a bit, then we could go ahead and draw and have it fixed. Okay, so we could fine tune anything necessary if needed. Once we finished with the reviewing process, we go on to continue to model trimming.